Novena to St. Joseph Day 4 In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. St. Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greet you. You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have special confidence in you, and that, after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you. For you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me and all that belong to me to your intercession. I beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life and to assist me at the hour of my death. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind and perfect resignation to the Divine Will. Be my guide, my Father, and my model through life, that I may merit to die as you did in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers on my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Saint Joseph, I thank God for your privilege of being God's faithful servant. As a token of your own gratitude to God, obtain for me the grace to be a faithful servant of God as you were. Help me to share as you did the perfect obedience of Jesus, who came not to do his will, but the will of his Father, to trust in the providence of God, knowing that if I do his will, he will provide for all my needs of soul and body, to be calm in my trials and to leave it to our Lord to free me from them when it pleases him to do so, and help me to imitate your generosity, for there can be no greater reward here on earth than the joy and honor of being a faithful servant of God. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary, ever virgin, my loving protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or asked for your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding, therefore, in your goodness, I come before you and humbly implore you. Despise not my petitions, foster father of the Redeemer, but graciously receive them. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.